Hi guys, it's Jimmy. So today I'm going to show you how to make these scrap paper thank you cards. They're really fun and they're super simple to make. Now um, you will need um, just some scrap papers. I have some pa painted papers that you guys sent me. This is my whole stack. And they're mostly from Happy Mail, which is wonderful. So thank you for sending me all your scraps. It's wonderful. And I definitely use them in projects. So. These are really simple to make. All you need is a card base. Now, I really love these um, with this type of card. And the name is leaving me now. I should remember this. I just had a big lunch. I just did all you can eat sushi. So my brain is like out of space land. But you guys know what kind of cards I mean. <laughs> these kind. Craft paper. There we go. There we go. These base. Now, I got these from um, Michael's in a little pack of 25 so you need some of those and then you're going to need i'm going to use some deco page glue um, so just use a deco page glue and then you'll need your scraps so what you're going to do is you'll just kind of grab the scraps that you want to use and what we're going to do is we're cut them we're going to cut them in three different sizes that's kind of the trick to this technique and i do this sometimes when i make tags um, is especially with scrap paper you just want to do three sides of paper okay so maybe we'll make this our largest piece okay so I'm just taking it and I'm keeping in mind kind of the dimensions of my card I'm gonna grab one in a second so you can see And, you know, I like to cut it so it appears to be straight. It never quite is, but it is. And then I like mine to kind of coordinate together. So I get pieces that I think will look good together. And you're cutting them small so it won't look as busy as if you just put one of these on a page. Okay, so I think those look good together too. But they're almost the same size. So I need to cut one of them down a little bit more. I'm going to cut this one down a bit more. And we'll cut off that end. Alrighty, and then we need something else too. I'm thinking maybe this orange. So this is just a really great way to use up whatever scraps you have. I'm just kind of going through. This is a marbled paper that someone sent me. That might go. I kind of like those together. We'll do this one. Okay, and I'll do another one for you guys too, because the technique can be a little different, you know, to work with, but um, I have some that I already picked out, and you could, we could also use this one, maybe we'll cut this out, this is my gessoed <coughs> and stamped um, paper, which I love, and then you spray your inks on it, it's so fun, but I try to keep it to at least, to just three pieces, ooh, look at this one, I didn't see that one. Did I cut that one? I did. See, it's amazing when you love your, your own paper. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to get our decoupage glue. I'm using Deco Page, Deco Arts. And first I'm going to lay down my papers and we're going to add a couple of more things to them. All right, now it's up to you if you just want to cover the papers or if you want to cover the whole card. I'm just going to concentrate on the papers. So I just kind of do it like this, just because I don't want that film on my card. And then I'm just going to brush wherever I put the paper and not brush the whole card. But you can do it that way. It doesn't make a difference. It's just my personal preference. We're going to take it and we're going to lay it down. Okay. And then you can kind of think of a layout. So kind of take your pieces and put them however you want. Play around with them. But just kind of keep your dimensions right. So use, you know, make sure that your, your pieces get go from bigger to smaller. That's just the important part. Okay. But other than that, and it's kind of nice to use lightweight papers. This one's a little thick, but that's okay. So I think that I'm liking like this piece a lot. Let's do that piece, and then I like this one too. So just kind of play around with your 
dimensions a little bit. Okay, I think I like. Don't spend too long on it. Just kind of because I have a tendency to do that where I would sit here for like five minutes and say, where do I put the piece of paper? It's like, just put it down, Shimmy. So I'm telling you guys to do not as I do, but to do <laughs> as I say. Perfect. And then I'm just going to brush the top of this paper. And this is matte, but you could absolutely use the glossy too and that would work well. Alrighty. Okay, and then I love this little piece. Let's put that there. And I'm going to do a few more on camera for you guys, so hopefully you'll hang in there with me. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I like to see things a few times, you know, if I'm going to do it. So that's why I like to show you guys a couple plans. There we go. These are just my scrap paper cards. And I'm making these thank you cards because I got a couple new patrons, which I'm super excited about. So I'm making thank you cards for them, which is awesome. I'm super excited. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. So I have some that I kind of already laid out because I wanted to kind of show you how it goes here. So we could do, this one is just deli paper. And then that's like an orange one. And, or maybe like this, I think. Orange there, piece of paper here, paper here. And I just like them to overlap a little bit. Okay. Mm, I might change the orientation of that, we'll see. I'm gonna put down my big piece first though, which is that paper, that deli paper. Yeah, so I went to, I saw one of my friends from high school, which was super fun. She's really nice. I like her a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's my really good friend. And we had fun. I mean, I had a really good high school experience. We were all nerds, so yeah. <laughs> so we had fun, you know, and we were focused on school and on being good friends to each other. So I think that helped a lot, but it just brings back good memories when you see an old friend. And I cannot believe that I have been out of high school for 15 years. It's like craziness. So we were reminiscing and we had a whole bunch of sushi. And it's like this place is all you can eat sushi, right? So <laughs> you have to, it's so crazy. So you can order as much as you want, but you can't leave any on the plate. If you do, you have to pay for it. So of course, like we did our first session, it was great, right? But then they waited like 15 minutes before they brought us our second one. And so by that time, the food had digested from our first, you know, little time eating. <laughs> and yeah, so we were so full on that second round. So we were forcing ourselves to eat sushi. It was crazy. And like, don't tell the restaurant, but we did hide a few pieces of sushi. I think it was like one. We hid it in the napkin. <laughs> Bad girls, but it was fun. <laughs> it was a good time. Very, very fun. But I do love sushi. I tried, um, which I, I tried, I think I tried, um, eel, which is cool. Yeah, eel sushi, which was really good. It was surprisingly good. And then we got the seared tuna. That one was really good. And my favorite was the shrimp tempura roll. Oh, that was so good. That was yummy. So it was good. And of course we wasted Sprite all over the table because, yep, <laughs> we are two clumsy people. So it just happened. But she's my really good friend and I'm so glad that we got reconnected. It's so fun. There we go. So just like that. And I'm gonna do one more. All right. It's so fun to get, get together with your old friends, go out to lunch, have a good time. Sometimes I'm cooped up in the house, so it's nice to get out and spend some time with some friends. And I try to do that at least once a week. So it's good. It's good when it can happen. And this is a beautiful marbled piece of paper. Yeah, so all you can eat sushi. <laughs> and 
like the bites are so small so you think oh well I can eat you know a lot of these little sushis but it, I tell you what that rice totally catches up to you so but and they had salads and all sorts of cool stuff that you can I mean it's a really nice menu so yeah but it was good I enjoyed it a lot so we're just gonna stick this down this one's a little bit thicker so this is cardstock oh. perfect But I was. I'm a nerd now. I was a nerd then too. <laughs> I don't think that's a bad thing. It was fun. And we did. I mean, we had fun. We went to dances and, you know, like we weren't boring girls, but we definitely were, had a focus, which was fun. But we look at that now. We're like, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Those old memories like if you would have known what you know back then what you know now though you definitely still don't have the wisdom part <laughs> it's good wow okay so I'm gonna just brush this down a little bit more and this is a piece that um sin no um not Cindy oh my gosh me Gina sent me this wrapping paper and she prints it out and this is what she wraps her products in which is awesome because she sent me a stamp set because I'm on her design team and I have a haul video of the stamps and all the other little goodies that she sent to me so that'll be fun but I thought that is such a clever thing when you're sending Happy Mail right to have that and then this is a little piece that I doodled on so we're gonna put that on there too just like that alrighty and sorry, I was talking about sushi, so this video is going to be a little longer than it would have been if I hadn't been talking about sushi. <laughs> but it was fun. Okay, but I'm glad to be back here with you guys, too. Okay, so now we're going to let those dry, and I have one that's already dry. This one's almost dry, the first one that we made. And then I'm just going to get my Stabilo all. Now, if you do not have a Stabilo all, you could um, just use charcoal or you could use a black pen and that would work great too okay and all I'm gonna do is just outline around the squares now you could also just put a like a little like um, punch out like a circle punch out and that would work well too the thing is just to make big medium and small that's it that's all you have to remember okay and you can do this technique on tags too and it looks so pretty with the craft paper that's the only trick to this technique. I think it looks really cool. I mean, it'd probably look okay on white, but I just really love that craft paper look. Very good. There we go. Alrighty, and then you're going to get out your water brush or your pin. And you're going to go around it. You're going to activate that Stabilo All pencil, which I love. You see, mine is getting low I have to get another one <laughs> I need to run out of them so I have to grab another one so I hope you guys are gonna have a great weekend I'm gonna um, after I get done with this video I have to study for the kids for Sunday school I think this week we're learning about Adam and Eve so that'll be good but it's funny we have them do this little puppet show I made a puppet box out of a box it's really cute and then we made these little my mom's a great artist so she drew like these little um, Adam and Eve little puppets so it's gonna be fun and it just helps them to enter into it and you know it puts it kind of on their level and they're having fun but they're really learning <laughs> which I think is the best trick in the world when you're teaching kids so that's what I'm gonna be doing this weekend is teaching those little guys and yeah so it'll be fun awesome so that's how it looks you're just gonna let it dry just for a second okay so we'll set that aside let that one dry and then I'm gonna grab another one and I will dry this off just for a second and that's why it's kind of nice to work with things like in series or to make a bunch of things at one time 
So while we're waiting for those to dry, we're going to do some stamping. So this is just a cardstock. This is a stamp that I had before, but I'm going to make the thank you one. So this is a stamp that someone sent me in Happy Mail. You can get these at the dollar store, and it says thank you, and they're self-inking. And they have some that say fantastic, good job, that kind of thing. And I'm just going to just stamp them. That's it. And I'm going to cut them out. And then they'll be all ready for my card. I'll take that. And I'm just using my small scissors. And I'm going to make kind of a rectangular shape. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Just fun. We're just having fun. Awesome. And it says thank you. But you could use whatever stamp you wanted. Like you could cut out one of these girls and that'd be great too. So um, don't limit yourself. All you need is a little stamp or an image that you like. Do that. And then I found these cute little, these little things. They're little tape runners from the dollar store. They don't have much on there, but they work really well. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm gonna attach that. Attach my little thank you by that. And you can put it wherever you want. And I'm not sure if this ink is waterproof. I seriously doubt that it is. So just be careful of that. Like don't add any wet medium after you put it down. Because we don't want to mess up our card. Then I'm going to get out my washi tape. But, and I'm doing black and white. These are the only two that I have. I love black and white washi tape, but I can never find it. Um, so... I kind of hoard them, so I'm doing, this is hurting me a lot to use these, but I need to use them. It's like, you have to start using your stuff, so. There we go. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to stick down some washi tape. And I just always put the glue stick down with my washi tape. Take it, I'm going to open this up. You guys will at least see one mixed media card a month because I'm doing that for my patrons. So I have one of my rewards is a thank you card every or a card every um, month. So this will be sent to my patrons. So you guys will get to see me make those cards. And I'm just going to stick a sticky note inside of these in case they want to write in them and give them to someone else. Uh, my friend Alice, she does that. Vintage Girl 18, I think, is her YouTube channel. And I just think that is such a wonderful idea. So that way the person can use it if they want. I love all her cards. I would never give them to anyone, but I just think it was nice of her to let me have that option. So that's what I'm going to do. It was a great idea, Alice. So, <laughs> very cool. And if you notice, I'm going to show you something in a second. Oops, and I forgot to put the, the glue stick down for that washi tape, but that's okay. It's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Okay, just gonna make sure it's sealed very, very well. So notice, right? It's balanced, right? And the reason why it's balanced is because I started out with three pieces of paper and then I added the two pieces of washi tape. So I have an odd number of things on here, except for the thank you, which doesn't count because that's just a greeting. But as you can see, it's really visually interesting. So I usually try to do things in three, whether I'm stenciling or stamping, or you can do you know, three or five pieces of paper. That's how I know that things are balanced to my eye. So let's do one more and then I will let you guys go. And you can stop hearing about my crazy sushi stories. <laughs> but it was fun. Do you guys like sushi? I do. I love it. It's so good. They had a cucumber um, roll, which I was surprised about. But it was good. It was really refreshing. Oh my god, and they had this beef teriyaki. My beef teriyaki does not taste like that. It was so good. Oh, and some salmon teriyaki. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. Yummy, yummy. Good lunch. I definitely have to go back to that place. <laughs> I just have to order less next time. 
so I don't stuff myself with sushi. I probably won't eat until like late tonight. <laughs> It'll be a light dinner for sure. Okay, we're gonna do the same procedure here. So I just outline my pieces and that just gives them a little bit more visual interest. And as I said, you could do that with your permanent black paint too. You do not have to do it with, um, with the stabilo if you don't have it. And if you do it with charcoal, you just have to seal it so it doesn't go all over the place. You could use an oil pastel too, which I love and I thought about, but I would have to brush it, all of it, with um, my deco page glue. And I really like the natural look of the card um, without that streak from the deco page glue. But you could definitely do it. And I love that glue because it just makes the papers like so soft and smooth and all that good stuff. <laughs> Very cool. So we're going to do another greeting. Which, what did I get them? And I mean, you can find supplies in all different places. Like, don't restrict yourself. Don't think you have to spend a ton of money. You can go get this stamp from the dollar store. And you can get washi tape at the dollar store. You don't have to do black and white. You can do, you know, I just think maybe like a background kind. Like, maybe like dots or something like that would be really cool. But it would look really cool with like the kind that's themed too. So you can get that there. And you can get these little paint runners there. So... I mean, don't restrict yourself. You have painted papers. You probably have, I mean, even the dollar store sells Mod Podge now. So there's just, yeah, there's just so much that you can do. And I can just, I'm just going to put this thank you wherever I feel like it should go. So I can put it there and it's fine. And if I wanted to, I could even outline that, but I'm not going to do that. But you could, you could outline around the thank you too. So that's another thing that you could do. And use whatever stamp you have in your stash. You do not have to go out and buy a new one. You can use, it look really cute with that girl or with circles or whatever you have in your stash. This is kind of a get rid of your stash kind of card. You know, it's not fancy, it's just really nice. Just like that. Okay, and I just love it. And you could leave it like this. You don't even need the washi tape. I just like to add a little bit more and I'm going to make this go vertical just because that's what makes me happy and I think art is about trusting your own intuition so you know you know how things should go in your brain you just don't trust yourself but you should start to trust yourself <laughs> and you know and if it's not right then you pick it up or you know for next time you know and don't be afraid to play with things and play with competition composition and all that stuff so yeah here we go and then we'll do some dots and then I'll let you guys go <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and day so this one I'm gonna have to play with a little bit more so I kind of like that but do I like it better here Ooh, that's kind of cool there mm. No. Maybe here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Alrighty, so I was going to remember my glue stick this time. Glue stick, glue stick. Perfect. Awesome. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with these cards. It's going to be so fun to see. I love to see your art and your work. <laughs> Makes me super happy. Very cool. Very nice. Oh, I love that. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it. We made a few cards in not that long. These guys I will finish up later um, while I have my stuff out. And we have three gorgeous cards that we made. Look at how pretty those are. And I love them. And they're like...
kind of like graffiti. I just love the way that they look. So they're super fun. I hope you make these. I hope you guys have an even more fabulous weekend. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please share this video. I would love it if you did on Facebook. Grace and oh my goodness, I cannot remember her name, but there is another lady. They always share all my posts on their Facebook, which is super awesome and much, much appreciated. <laughs> It helps me a lot. So thank you guys so much and thank you for all your support and I truly appreciate it. And if you are interested in becoming one of my patrons, then I will put an iCard here and you can go check that out. Okay, I'll see you guys next time or there's a link in the description box below too. Have a wonderful day guys. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.